Welcome back. We now want to take a look at discovering black heritage at the Olympics. This summer marks the 100th anniversary of the first African American to win a gold medal in an individual event. So let's go back in time. In 1924, William DeHart Hubbard won gold in the long jump. Those games were held in Paris. Now, Hubbard was just 20 years old at the time, a junior at the University of Michigan. This is a photo of him competing right here at the Olympic trials that year, winning that race. Now, Team USA in all sent 299 athletes to France for those games. Hubbard was one of four black athletes. Now, one of those four got injured, so didn't compete. But the other three black athletes who competed all came home with a medal. And although Hubbard was from Cincinnati originally, he made history in Chicago. The 1925 NCAA championships were held here at the University of Chicago Stagg Field. Hubbard tried to set the world record that day in the 100 meter dash, and he recounted that race to a historian much later in 1970. I probably ran as fast a race that day as I ever, but it had rained so hard the night before the track was soft. And on my first step, my spikes dug out the soft track, you know, and I had to recover and still go in. You know, otherwise, that could have been some kind of a record race. Hubbard ended up missing the world record that day in the 100 meter dash by 0.2 seconds. Wow. So close. But his day was not done right here. This is a photo of him setting the world record in the long jump right here in Chicago. That jump would last as the Big Ten record until some guy named Jesse Owens would go <laughs> on to beat it in 1935. To this day, the jump you're looking at right here, still the second best jump in University of Michigan history. How cool is that? 100%. Great look back there. Thanks for that, Alex. That was fun. Fun to look back. Yeah, very cool. And just like William DeHart Hubbard did 100 years ago, American triple jumper Tori Franklin hopes to bring home a medal from Paris. And away from the field, she has even bigger goals than that to uplift boys and girls just like her growing up in the Chicago area. And another medal added to the total for Team USA and Tori Franklin. The triple jump may seem exacting and precise, but talk to Tori Franklin about her sport, and you don't hear that at all. Triple jump is a dance, okay? Mm. It, is, it is art, and it's like... I liken it to a bee when it jumps from flower to flower. Franklin's flowers have been competitions all over the world, from Belgrade to Budapest, Oslo to Oregon, where she won bronze at the 2022 World Championships. Just barely touching the ground, flowing with so much speed and so much power every time you touch it, but it's just just like that, and you're flying. Franklin started flying at Downers Grove South High School, then Michigan State. Her distances soon became elite, landing long enough in the sand for a spot on Team USA in 2021. But the Tokyo Olympics did not go as planned. After the Tokyo Olympics, I just felt really defeated. Uh, for so many reasons. That 12th place finish fueled her to change countries and coaches. <laughs> Now living in Greece, she's training hard for an Olympic return. I just feel so much more prepared for this games mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, everything. The 31 year old sees all of those connected. Mindfulness, yoga, travel and nature are tenants for her life, helping her overcome things much bigger than a bad meat. In the memoir she released last year, she talks about overcoming sexual assault and battles with depression. I think my experiences have given me so much more empathy towards people and more compassion towards people. I think it's starting to be one of my superpowers the more that I lean into it. Now she spreads empathy and compassion through her new venture called Live Happy, creating events and retreats for inner city youth to connect with themselves and others. I think a lot of people and especially youth don't understand that we're not the thoughts that are in their head. We're not this body. We are the soul inside the body. Franklin feels firsthand the benefits of changing your environment to change your results. The jumps she's taken on and off the track now serve as a model for others to find a better life. For some kids, they have this idea of what their life is gonna look like already. And it may not always, it's not the best vision. And so I just want to show them that the world is so much more broad than the four blocks that they live on. She has a truly world view. She also used to live in Paris. So if she makes the, per the team for Paris this year, it's going to be kind of a homecoming in a little bit of a way for her. Well, I'm rooting for her already. She's yeah. doing such great things. Yeah. Wonderful. Thanks so much for that, Alex. Oh, it was a pleasure. Both to talk stories. To you. Yeah.